What up guys, welcome back to the shit podcast, today we are going to have a very interesting conversation with a wild person, with a wild scale lover, he is a skinny beanie, he is a stuntman, he is a filmer, he really loves skateboarding, so let's say hi to skinny beanie and welcome to the shit podcast guys. Yo what's up guys, my name is Vinny, also known as skinny Vinny and this is the shit podcast, take a listen on how skateboarding saved my life. Ew. Okay, what's up, man? What's up, Vinny? How is it going? Not much, man. Everything is going good. I just uh, I just got to Orlando, Florida yesterday, like late last night, um, from a 15-hour drive from Dallas, Texas. Oh, um, that's nice. I'm actually heading to uh, the Derns property for yeah for a New Year's Eve party uh, to get some footage, to skate a little bit, and uh, see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. That's nice. So you have a nice relationship with the Dern family. How is that? I do. I met uh, I met all the Dern brothers back in uh, back in March at Bam Margera's castle, and we went there. I went there, and uh, and there was a few dudes skating the barn, and um, the Derns being a, being them, and we just clicked right away. It, it was. Uh, It was really rad. We just got along really good, and uh, I noticed, I knew who they were because of their uh, their quarantine video, their their yeah. uh, their skate the house video, and um, I just really I really appreciate somebody who has creativity and the passion like they do, you know. So I I, I tend to gravitate towards people like that. For and, sure. Um, yeah, and and since since we since meeting at Bams, we've just been nonstop, just going 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 filming filming filming, and it's been great. That's nice. So you are the person that records all the videos from the Darren's family, the Darren brothers, or just um, Dalton. Um, I, I I film Kanan a little bit, um, but he's he's mostly uh, he he pretty much has his own team with Zero and um, and does things on his own. But it's just been me and Dalton pretty much. Okay, that's pretty nice. Say hi to Dalton and Kanan, yeah. please from shit magazine <laughs> i will i will all right yeah. so what do you what is your relationship with a skateboarding my relationship with skateboarding um started at a really young age um i want to say uh 11 or 12 years old um when i when i first found out about skateboarding i fell in love with it the very first time i set my eyes on a skateboard i fell in love with it and i think it was uh I think it was the Zero Dying to Live video. And uh, back in, I want to say it was 2001. 2001. And VH, yeah, 2001 VHS, uh, yeah. dying, zero, uh, the Zero Dying to Live video, and also the Black Label, uh, Label Kills video, and the, um, the Flip Sorry video. And yeah. uh, a little after that was the America Stay Gold video. And, um, I just fell in love, man. There, there was something about it that just, it, I just, I just felt right. I, I like watching and being around skateboarding. Just, it just felt right to me. And so I try. I, I, I remember I was like 13 years old. I begged my mom to buy me a skateboard for Christmas, and she got me. Um, my first skateboard was a World Industry board, and um, and I and I tried skateboarding, but I'm a bigger dude, man. You know, so it's a lot harder for me to to like to progress. <laughs> and be where I wanted to be in skateboarding, you know? So when I found, when, when I realized that I, that like, it was pretty much impossible to, to do what I wanted to do in skateboarding, like just go to the level like the Derns or the level like all the pros, that's when I picked up a video camera. Because I, no, mat like, no matter what part of skateboarding, I just wanted to be in it. I wanted to be in the world of skateboarding. And uh, so yeah, that's where the video camera came into play. And I, I would, um, it was just all me and the bros just skating around town. And I was the one with the camera and just filming, just filming the bros, just having fun. So you are the cameraman, but yeah. 
but what do you prefer to record lines maybe follow the skater or just to be in the best spot to in the best angle but being I, quiet i pr prefer finding the best angle um whether it be long lens or fisheye um i personally like a, a, a fucking perfect fisheye a fisheye lens that like get the perfect angle that's my favorite um but the long lens is beautiful too you know you can get you can get sort of a distance and and uh, and get your shot like that but the fisheye is what i love the most um and it it, it, it took a lot of practice but I, like that i would study those vhs i would study them those vhs <laughs> videos watch them over and over and over again and just and, and just see where like how, like what angle they would hold what position you know what i mean like yeah. what kind of camera kind of cameras they would use you know what kind of lenses they would use and i would just study it over and over and over again and i was just obsessed yeah that's true so what do you think it is important to take into account when we are recording a nice shot when we are at the spot when we are looking for that angle what what do you think is what we should look for um that's a good question um really i personally i i i try not to get a, a too crowded of a shot you know um yeah I, uh, uh, I, I look at the backdrop. I look at everything. I, I the, the, the lighting, um, absolutely everything. And if the lighting's a certain way, then I might have to stand on a different side or get a little lower just to, uh, or, or, uh, get a little higher. It, it all, like the lighting is a big part of it too. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, really, but I, I try not to let that kind of stuff get to me because if I, If, if I start to make it feel like a job, then it, it, it will always be fun to me. But if I, if, if I'm like, oh, I, I have to do it like this, or I have to do it like that. It's like, why, why, you know, it's just going out with your homies, getting some clips, traveling the world and just doing what we do. You know, that, that's the part of it that I love. There's, there's nothing better in the world than just traveling the world with your bros, stacking some clips getting into sh some sh uh, shenanigans on the way, you know, what kind of antics we can get into, you know, um, there's, there's nothing better than that. That's nice. This is what a skateboarding is about. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Letting it flow, being organic, not forcing it too much. And I agree yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice. So you are skinny beanie. You are such a unique and nice character in the skateboarding world. How can you describe a skinny beanie in three words? Um, oh, only three words. I would say passionate. Um, passionate is the biggest one. Um, creative yeah. and courageous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I try, uh, um, and, and again, this goes back to why I gravitated towards the Dern brothers. You know, because they're they're all those three things combined, you know, they're so passionate on what they do. They're so ballsy and they're passionate. And that's why and that's why I gravitate towards skateboarders in general is because they dude, you bust your ass over and over and over and over and over and over again to get to, to, to stack one clip. And all those bales, all you bust your ass all those times just for that one clip. And that's that's what it's about. You know, that's why I gravitate towards them. And that's why the world, I, I'm also in the stunts and entertainment world too. Uh, we work a lot with the jackass guys and the, our world and the skateboarding world, they coincide. It's like, it's, they, it's so similar. And that's why we all get along so well. Yeah, I agree with you. So do you consider yourself a stuntman too? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Definitely. So you are addicted to adrenaline, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To say the least, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I, uh, um, back to when we, I started filming skateboarding, you know, it was the, around the time that Jackass came out in, on TV. And, um, and again, me and the, me and the bros that were skating, we started doing Jackass type stuff and just doing r ridiculous stuff around town and getting the cops called and jumping into bushes and, and all that stuff and um and then in my late teens when i was around 1920 is when i got uh, um addicted to drugs and okay. my passion 
for passion for skateboarding, my passion for filming, my passion for just entertainment in general just completely faded away. And it just, uh, um, I just didn't care anymore, you know? And I was addicted, uh, I was addicted to heroin and, and homeless for a good 10 years. And oh that's when I moved out to Los Angeles. Before I moved out to Los Angeles, like around 26, around 26 years old is when I sold all my video equipment sold everything because I was so addicted to, to drugs and um, and I just didn't think that dream was ever going to come true. So um, so I just I just gave up. And so when I turned 29, I flew out to Los Angeles to try to get sober. And uh, and by the grace of God, I got sober and I, I started meeting all the all these amazing people in the entertainment industry and in the skateboarding world. And it, it was really crazy to me on how on how it happened because I finally gave up. I, I, I put my hands in the air and I was like, I need help. And as soon as I did that, all these beautiful things started happening to me. Oh. And coming down, working with my heroes like Bam and Steve-O and a lot of professional skaters who I've looked up to for so long and meeting the Dern brothers and having a relationship with them and uh, being able to travel the world and film all because I got sober. That's exactly what happened. As soon as soon As soon as I gave up, and, and asked for help is when all these beautiful things came into my life. Okay, that's nice. And what do you think was that break point that made you say like, okay, I need to do something for my life. I need, mm -hmm. I need to struggle this. I need to fight this. That's, that's another really good question. And I can't tell you that because when I, when I decided to, uh, or when I got sober, I'm coming up on three years sober in February. And when I, when I got sober, I had no intentions of staying sober. I, I pretty much um, accepted that I was gonna be a drug addict for the rest of my life. And, and the sick part about it was I was okay with it. I was comfortable. Okay. And I, I thought I was gonna live and die a lonely homeless heroin addict. And, and, I, and, I, was, and I, I accepted it. And when I, when I got to the last sober living that I was in in Los Angeles is when I met my now best friend, Zach Holmes. Um, everybody knows him by Zach ass. And he, um, we got together, we started filming. He needed a filmer at the time. And he invited me to film for him. And we filmed this one video on Venice beach and the video blew up. And all, all these people like Tony Hawk and, Bob Burnquist and all, all my heroes of mine are watching the video, liking it and sharing it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That's something that I filmed. Something that I filmed is getting recognized by all these people and all my heroes. So I was like, holy shit, maybe, maybe being sober is okay. But I still had that intentions in the back of my head of getting high. I, I, I still was like, okay, I'll, I'll stay sober just for a little bit. And then it just, and then it was just like a snowball effect. It was like everything that we did just kept get, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then next thing you know, I'm on I'm on stage at a Wu Tang concert doing live stunts with everybody, you know, in front of five thousand people. Next thing you know, I'm I'm making a video with Bam. Next thing you know, I have a podcast with Andy Roy. You know, it's. It just it just kept going and, and then eventually the the cravings of getting high and that that intention of of going back to the streets that went away and i was completely okay with myself i was content i, be, I became a better person and um once i started once i was able to look in the mirror and be okay with the person that i was looking at all that all that dark shit just went away and that and it was a beautiful thing you know it was like it was a freeing feeling and never mind i got sober changed my life but I have these relationships now with people that I wouldn't trade with the world. You know, I, I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I've dreamed of since I was 11 years old, picking up that video camera, you know, and it all happened because of getting sober. That's nice. So magic has started happening uh, since three years ago, basically. Oh, uh, yep. knowing your three heroes, years. working on what you love. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah. nice. So yeah, it's great. That's nice. So with whom you have had the opportunity to work or to make videos? So Bam was one of them. Um, Steve-O was one of them. Andy Roy was one of them. 
Um, pretty much everybody from the Jackass crew, I could say. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, and a, a couple a, a couple uh, musicians that I uh, that I've always looked up to growing up. Uh, I can I call them friends now. Uh, okay. It's it's a, it's a really weird feeling. I, I grew up with posters of Bam and and Andy all over my room. Nice. All especially. Bam. Bam was like the biggest inspiration to, to me because he ne- he wasn't just a professional skateboarder and really good at what he did, what, what he did, but he also was a, a videographer, a director, a producer, um, a the star. Jackass, the Jackass series, and he, he was all these things combined, and he had so much creativity and so much talent. He was really the main guy who I looked up to, um, and having his posters all over my wall, and now when I go to the castle there's a picture of me on his wall. My goodness. So every time, every time I go there, I see the poster and I'm just like, holy shit, you know? Yeah. I, it's it's still really hard to comprehend. Yeah, for sure. I can imagine. And how did you end working with Vamp or Steve O? How was that? Uh-huh. So um, it, it all it all boils down to meeting Zach Ass. Um, okay. when, I, when I'm... As Zach Ass already had a pretty big presence online. Um, he had his television show, Too Stupid to Die, um, on MTV. And he, like I said, he was just in need of a personal filmer. And um, so I was traveling the country with him, filming him and and uh, the Too Stupid crew. And and, um, and that led to Bam contacting us, Steve-O contacting us, Um and wanting to film videos. And uh, and then Andy Roy, I met while, uh, he, Andy Roy was with Bam when we filmed the video with him. And uh, and then me and Andy just started a relationship. And then, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the podcast, Rip Ride Podcast, um, I was a part of that. And um, me, Andy, and his ex-girlfriend Priya, we were doing that for about a year. And um, unfortunately it stopped, but it was, one, it was amazing. Um, It, 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 it's weird because all these people, they just, they contact us, you know, because we're not the type of, we're not the type of guys to like reach out to the, these people who we've looked up to and be like, yo, we're such big fans. Could we work with you? You know, we don't work like that. Okay. It, it just so happens that all these people who we really look up to, they've contacted us and want to either hang out or film or, or, or skate, you know? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I, I can imagine that. So, um, what do you think about um, about the stunts? Uh, you have do a lot of stunts in, in your life, and I think that are a scary stunts. What is your advice to deal mm-hmm. with the fear when it comes to doing a, a stunt like that kind? It, it's it's dangerous, <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh man, sometimes I don't even think. Um, <laughs> sometimes it gets too dangerous to think about it. Yeah. Um, it really, really comes down to, and, and I learned this from Steve O. Steve O said, you just got to go one, two, three, go. That's you it. can't think of it. You know, um, I try to be as safe as possible um, because I, 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 I don't just work in stunts. You know, I, I work in the behind the camera with skateboarding and I have all these other ventures that I'm working on. So I, I try not to get so hurt to the point where I can't do these other <laughs> things, you know? I know. And um, so, but it really just comes down to one, two, three, go. And I, I, I go into, I go into a stunt like, okay, if like, uh, for example, there's a stunt that I did where it hasn't, it hasn't come out yet, but I went, I, I was on a skateboard And I went, I bombed this mountain and at the bottom of the mountain, it was this metal FMX ramp, like a dirt bike ramp. Oh, okay. And it, and it, and it went into a pond and okay. I was seeing, I was seeing Dalton go down it, hit the ramp, land in the pond. And I was like, oh my God, I could do that. You know, like I could skate, you know, I could bomb the hill. I could go up a ramp. I could fly through the air. You know, I could do that. <laughs> so I, I, I went down it and I just cased the ramp. I just went face first, face first, right into the ramp. Oh my! I had, God. I had, I had, yeah, I had nipple rings in when I hit the when I hit the ramp. My the nipple rings just got ripped right out. Oh, dude! It, my my elbow was all torn. 
And, um, but I, I went into that stunt thinking, okay, if I land this, if I actually make it hit the ramp and fly into the pond, that's a funny clip. But if I don't make it, it's that's funny. an even better clip. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the bales are better than the makes. Yeah, that's nice about the stunts. All is, be is yeah. it's a good clip. No matter if you fail, yeah. no matter if you <laughs> success, always is going to yeah. be a good clip. And it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let me say, that clip is amazing. I can't wait to uh, be able to release it. And um, when is going yeah. to happen that? When we are going to see this clip? Um, that, should be, um, that should be, I want to say, by, by the beginning of February. Okay, okay. And it makes yeah. part of a bigger uh, project? Or it's, it's just a clip or a compilation so of uh, clips? You know, so this is a, a um, we're in a show, uh, a, a show called Send It City. Um, it's, it's mostly on YouTube right now, but we have, uh, um, we have some net, bigger Netflix or bigger networks that are interested in it, um, like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon. Um, but you can go check it out on YouTube now. It's, uh, it's called Send It City. And, uh, it's basically, um, it's basically three teams all competing to make the most viral clip oh. and whoever. Whoever wins, uh, wins a hundred thousand dollars. And, uh, so my team, it's called the daredevil team. It consists of me, Dalton Dern, Kyler Vick, professional, uh, skydiver McKenna, uh, McKenna Knight, um, professional nut, uh, nut kick taker. Uh, he's called nasty the horse. And, um, and I think we're going to win because we're pretty good at making viral videos. You know, you have <laughs> such a big crew right there. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> uh, do you need a skateboarder in the, in a in the team? What are the requirements to be part of any team? Just to be crazy, or uh, so? Uh, the, uh, his name is Elton Casty. Um, he's the creator of the show. All right, um, and he pretty much did just a lot of research on Instagram and um, just a lot of diving into who would be good enough to be in the show, and he found Dalton Dern somehow. Oh, okay. And around that time is when me and Dalton, it was like right after we met at BAMS and we were just filming nonstop. And I made this skate video called Fourth of July at the Derns. And it was just Dalton. It was just Dalton um, just doing ridiculous stuff on me while skateboarding. You know, he like hand planted my head and he, we lit Dalton on fire while I was in his hot tub filled with milk and cereal and a couple girls. And he he uh, he kick flipped over us while he was on fire, you know. Um, so it was around that time, and and Elton saw that video. He contacted Dalton, saw me in one of Dalton's videos. Then he contacted me, and he asked us both to be a part of the show. Okay. So it was pretty much just by the luck of the draw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's nice. You're going to win. I know that. Yeah. And talking about stunts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about stunts. What is your favorite one that you have done? Uh, maybe with another skater, maybe you just like um, yourself. So as far as my as far as my favorite, um, I want to say uh, we, I do this thing where I lay on the ground and we put a dartboard on my chest, and uh, the homies are in, on a crane like 20 feet above me, and I'm laying down on my back, and they're dropping the darts trying to trying to hit the dartboard but they obviously they're aiming for my stomach <laughs> so yeah. by the end of the stunt there's like five or six or seven darts just in my stomach okay. that's that's a good fun um the one i was telling you about me casing the ramp that was a good one um i love an old-fashioned shopping cart you know getting in a shopping cart and getting pushed into a curb you know The, like the old CKY days, you know, the, those are always fun. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's, it's fun just doing dumb stuff with your bros, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love it. The, the, the first Bible <laughs> too, with Dalton there, you hanging the, the flat bar. That's a pretty nice. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, I forgot about that one. That's, that's probably one of my favorites. That was, uh, I was thinking about that one for months and Dalton was really busy at that time he had a lot of stuff going on I had a lot of stuff going on and 
I couldn't get it out of my head. I wanted to do it and I wanted to do it perfect. So I got a hold, we got a hold of Dave Swift, uh, legendary uh, skateboarding photographer. And um, we were like, hey man, we want to do this stunt. We want you to, we want you to shoot it. Um, so we, we finally got around to doing it. Dalton does it first try. First try, they light me on first fire. Try, he does it first try and first try. And he, and I was like, oh my God, you, you did it. But I didn't like how Dave he, uh, Swift shot the photo, but I didn't like how the flames weren't big enough. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to do it again. So we, I, I put more uh, lighter fluid on my back, a lot more, so that, to make the flames a lot bigger. And, uh, and Dalton did it again, two times. Two in a times. row first time yeah two times back to back and it was perfect yeah that's i i forgot that one that's definitely my favorite one yeah and it's nice because it's something that maybe you have to do first try because you are on fire and if yeah. you doesn't do that on first try you have to go to yeah. the water so good work right there i yeah we we had this uh other idea and um I wanted to do something like that, but a lot bigger. Oh, so wanted to. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Elliot Sloan. Yeah, we wanted to go to, to, go to Elliot's place to the mini mega, and okay. I want I wanted Dalton to hit the mega while I'm holding the rail. Oh, dude. so so you have that Dalton to do the gap, do the mega ramp that gap, and then yeah, I vote. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to make that one happen. That will be wild. And, and what about the strength that you need yeah. to hold that? It, it, it's difficult or, 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 or is it just a moment? It, or do you uh, have to be? It's, it, yeah, you have to hold it pretty sturdy. But he, uh, but with the speed that he's going, it's just a tap. You know, right. he, he, he loved that. You know? um, and even if he was to 5 0 the whole rail, He would be going so fast if, if we were going to do this mega, the mini mega ramp. He'd be going so fast that I really wouldn't feel it. But I would have to hold it straight enough. The, 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 the sketchy part about that one would be for me because if he lost control of the board and it hits me in the neck or hits me in the face or something like that, you know. But I, I just have complete like trust in Dalton and what he does that I don't even worry about that stuff. Dalton is so unbelievable on a skateboard. I personally think he's underrated. He 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 should be so much further in his career than where than actually where he is. He's never like he's definitely one of my favorite skaters and I'm not just saying that because he's my best friend. He's one of my favorite skaters because he is so fucking good on that board and he's creative. He he he's he 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 just goes above and beyond and like thinks outside the box to get his tricks, you know? For sure. But I know that good things are coming for Dalton Dern, maybe in the next year. We just knew about the, the Dern family because of the pandemic video. And it's a good basis of what, it, of yeah. what he is going to do. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we can be sure of that. Okay. Yeah. No, and I know things coming for Dalton for sure. Yeah. And, and you recording it? Re recording yeah. him? Yep. Recording everything. Okay. We just, um, in Dalton, we're just on, uh, uh, we were in El Paso, Texas. And we, uh, we found that legendary spot, the Green Bowl. And uh, we skated that for a while. And that, uh, that was my first time there. And I loved it there. It was perfect. Okay. And... Um And what is your approach when when you are going for a filming session or for where you are going for for tricks? Um, your approach is just to record the most insane tricks or or to record the most creative and non so common tricks. What, uh -huh. do you, what what do you what do you are looking for? Um, really, I keep the camera rolling the whole time. Okay. I I'll, I'll set up three or four GoPros, and then I'll hold my main camera, and I will just keep it running the whole time. And when we know that we have a banger, we know it. You okay. know. And, and mostly it's like okay, so if me and Dalton, 
if I'm with Dalton, we'll wake up in the morning. We'll, we'll, we'll think of like what spots we want to go to. We'll go to that spot. We'll, we'll, we'll ride around. We'll skate around. We'll have fun. I'll keep the camera rolling the whole time. And then within that time, we'll think of something. We'll be like, okay, this is what we want to do. Let's do it. And we'll know it's a fucking banger, you know? Yeah. Also, when, El, when we were in El Paso a couple weeks ago, um, there was this, I, I want to say it was a 30 stair kinked handrail. He wanted to no slide. And um, it was on, yeah, it was on a, um, a college campus though. And it was, there was like security everywhere. And, and um, unfortunately we couldn't get it before security kicked us out. Oh, but uh, we're going back to get it because that is, we've, we've never seen anybody do it before and we're going back to get it 100, 100% without a doubt. Let's go for that trick. Okay. Yeah. So, so you also are the guy that empowers the skater like, okay, let's go for the trick. That's the one. Come on, dude. Yep. Come on, dude. Okay. That's Louis, I, I, I learned that from Andy Roy. Andy Roy is the biggest hype man there is in skateboarding. <laughs> legendary hype man you know and uh and, and that's what that's where i learned that from too and, and plus skateboarding just hypes me man i i just love when when somebody just tries so fucking hard to to get a trick and they and they land it it i it feels like that i landed it i i love it so much that it feels like i landed the trick you know and i just get so hyped so that's why i i love hyping the bros up just getting them pumped you know yeah it's uh It's, it's just a beautiful thing when you see your homies just land a trick they've, they've been trying so hard on. Yeah, for sure. That's true. No matter the difficulty of the trick, just matter the attitude and the patience that the, that the person is putting to that trick. And that's what Absolutely. is beautiful about skateboarding. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So talking about stunts, um, is there any stunt that you regret? Or that you say like, oh my God, what did I do? I, I, I didn't. <laughs> um, actually, I, I've I've gotten pretty lucky, you know. Um, yeah, I, I I I haven't hurt myself bad yet, thank God. Like to the point of like a broken bone or like where I can't walk or go to work or anything like that. So I've gotten pretty lucky with that. I I try to um, when it when it comes down to the stunts, I try to do it to where I know it's gonna be funny. Okay, I might get hurt, but it's not it's not to the point where I just can't do anything anymore, you know? And but I, I let me knock on wood because there always there, there will always be freak accidents, you know, and then thank God that hasn't happened yet. The um, today, tomorrow, and the next day, I'm in Orlando now and we we're going to be filming a lot while we're here, so I know there's going to be some roof jumps, there's going to be some fire involved. Um and uh I don't know what I'm going to get myself into. <laughs> <laughs> you just know that it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We will wait for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you were mentioning that you have a podcast with Andy Roy. So what is this podcast about? What are your guesses? So, or... so it was called uh, Rip Ride Podcast with Andy Roy. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, la it was the, uh, the beginning of 2019 to the end of 2019 and um first uh i was a guest on it me and zach ass were guests on the podcast and they needed um me and zach i want to say we're like the fourth guest so it was still kind of new when we were on it and um they needed andy needed uh, an editor and a filmer to help the production so he asked me to be involved And uh, it was him and his ex-girlfriend, his girlfriend at the time. Um, they were the, the hosts of it. And um, so he asked me to be involved. So I would edit the podcast for him. I would film it for him. And uh, it, it was a skateboarding podcast. We've had we've had guests like Bam, uh, Danny Way. Or, um, no, not Danny Way. No, maybe, I think we did have Danny on. Um, we had uh, uh, we had Christian Fletcher, professional surfer on it. Okay. Um, it was it was uh, yeah, it was just a podcast of just really rad people. Um, we had Tyson Peterson on it. We had clay, uh, uh, we had clay on it. We had, uh, we had Wee man on it. We had Steve-O on it. We had, uh, um, the, 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 the dude from the, the movie, the Terminator, the kid, uh, he was on okay. it. Yeah. It, 
it was a lot of fun, you know, and it was another opportunity to meet to meet my heroes in the skateboarding world. You know, never mind Andy Roy, you know, Andy Roy is obviously a legend in itself. Um, but having all these people come on and hear their story and, and, and get to know them personally, that was it was a lot of fun. And, and it went on for about a year. And um, Andy and Priya just said they separated. And, and so we had to stop the podcast. And before we ended it, they had me on as like a guest co-host, which was fun. Um, and, and that got my t- that that was my first taste in podcasts um like being the host side of it and it was a lot of fun so me and my uh me and my homies we plan on starting our own podcast soon okay so the next year yeah. maybe yeah i want to say in the next year okay it's gonna yeah. happen it's yeah. or, or oh, is a plan yeah right yeah 100 gonna happen um it, the timing just needs to be right right now i'm in the process of um I packed up all my shit in Los Angeles. I packed everything I own into my car and I'm on a cross country tour, um, just filming and skating. And I've been going to, uh, uh, to skateboard, to skate parks all around the country, um, giving boards and, and, and grip and wheels and, and wheel and all this uh, other merch to kids at the skate parks. And, um, and I'm currently in the process of looking for a piece of property Um, I, I, I want to buy a ranch in Texas and I want to make it, uh, um, I want to build a skate park. I, I want to build, I, I want to ha- have this main hub where everybody could come and have fun and skate and, and ride dirt bikes and, and get gnarly and just, and just hang out with nobody and just get away with everything, you know? Something so right like, now, excuse me, something like yeah, Skatopia. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yep. Something like Skatopia. Uh, a, a mix of Skatopia, a mix of Bam's Castle, a mix of uh, of Travis Pastrana's Pastrana Land, a mix of uh, of Burnquest's uh, Dreamland, you know. Um, and so that's my plan. That's my vision right now. I, I I moved from LA, right? So right now I don't even have a home. I've just been I've been across. I left LA three weeks ago. I just made it to Florida to, uh, last night. And um, after this tour, filming around the country, then I'm gonna go look for some property. That's nice. I, I love what you are going to do in the maybe the next two years. This is a plan for the yeah. next two years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to try to have a property by summer. Oh, okay. by this new, by this um, summer. Okay. Yeah. Ambitious yeah. Goal. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going hard on this. I, I have big ideas. I, I I was blessed with an opportunity, and I'm fucking going for it. And um. I want I want a, a I want a team to be with me and I, and I have a great team all my all my friends to help me do this and I think it could be something very special and um and I and I think it could be a place for kids to come and skate I think it could be a place for all, all my homies to come and skate and just get gnarly and, and have fun and not have to worry about cops or 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 anything like that you know and um I'm I'm we're calling it Chaos Ranch and it's it's I just want it to be just insane chaos That's yeah. what I want. I want all all my homies and bros to just come and just get rad. That's all I want. Please, man, let's make that dream happen. Let's make oh. that ambition goal happen. Yeah. <laughs> I know that you will make it. <laughs> so yes, talking sir. about all those heroes that you were mentioning, what is the wildest? What is the craziest person that you say, oh my God, what is what does his guy has in his mind? <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, Steve-O will always Steve-O? Prob- uh, Steve-O will always probably have that spot. Um, and it's crazy because he's, he's in his late 40s now. And he's still going hard. He's still going really hard. And everything that he does is just gold. Bam has kind of slowed it down a little bit. Um, he's, he's been dealing with his own personal stuff. Um, but Steve-O and, and Knoxville, Knoxville, it's like those two just go so hard and Knoxville's in his fifties. I, I want to say Knoxville is 52. Yeah. One, one, two, three, go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm glad that you have the opportunity to hang out with them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Live yeah, life with a, them. 
yeah, it's a crazy, it's a crazy feeling to me because, like I said, like those guys were my heroes growing up, and now I consider them friends. Yeah, for sure, that's nice. Okay, Benny, the conversation is about to end. One couple questions, and that's it. So, all right. What would be your advice to enjoy life? You know, if you can make your own advice, what would be your advice to enjoy life? Uh, my, my main advice to enjoy life and be happy is surround yourself with good people that are passionate about what they do. Um, I, I and, this, and this just goes with everything in life, you know? I, I feel like um, just being at inner peace with yourself and being content with who you are is a, is a main, is, is a huge thing. You know, um, it, it took me 30 years to, to understand and realize that like the, all the material bullshit doesn't make you happy. And, um, the only way that you're going to find inner peace and, and, and happiness is to surround yourself by good people and just find a passion and do what you love to do. You know, um, that's really, that's really about it, man. It, it's just find a passion, find a hobby, find some people that are, are, that are passionate and, and come passionate and, and eager to just grow, you know, um, get comfortable with the uncomfortability, you know? Oh, I like that. I like that. Get comfortable with the yeah. uncomfortability. I love it. All right, man. Thank you for those yeah. words. And I wonder, uh, do yeah, you have a YouTube channel right now? You're a kind of influencer. I, what? I, I do. I have my YouTube channel. I, I just recently started a YouTube. Um, before before getting sober three years ago, I had no social media. I wasn't online. I wasn't anything. Um, so I, I started my Instagram three years ago, but I just started my YouTube a couple months ago. Um, it's just my name, Vinny and Parati. Um, it's you, you can see some skateboarding there. You can see some vlog stuff. You can see stunts. Um, you can see uh, stuff about addiction on there. Um, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much my whole life is on my YouTube. My Instagram is more the stunts, the comedy stuff like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, you, you guys can go check out my YouTube for sure. Okay, uh, and what uh, and what is going to be your goal with the with the content that you are producing? Just to record and have uh, memories for the future. So a big part of it is just to have memories for the future. But I also uh, I, I have an idea for this chaos ranch. Um, yeah, it's it's not just going to be a, a hub for everybody to go skate. But I have bigger ideas as far as TV shows, um, Netflix, possibly even a movie, and uh, and now having some re relationships with networks. Um, I, I really think we have something here, and I, I think uh, it's a very good possibility that we can make that happen. Okay, good luck with these projects and good luck with Thanks. this journey that you are having right now. Um, Thanks, bro. Yeah, that was it for today, man. And it was a pleasure to have you here. It was my pleasure. Process. Thank you for having me on. Okay, I hope that maybe one day I can skate in your skate park or, or your skateboarding You're paradise. You're welcome anytime, bro. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. This was Skinny Beanie, guys. I really hope that you found inspiration in all the words that he shared with us. So this is a great example on how skateboarding can literally save lives. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe in order to watch more content like this. So we have been talking a lot of time. Now it's time to go skate. So let's go skate and always with good vibes as you know.